take a look at this problem. We got x squared minus 18x plus 77 equal to 0. And we want to solve each equation using the zero factor property. The zero factor property says first you have to get zero on one side, which I have. Then it says you have to factor the other side. Well, this factor is using the PSD method because we have an x squared, x, no x, no number in front of your x squared. PSD, we take the number at the end, ignoring the sign, so we got 77, and we come up with three columns, P, S, and D. Uh, P, we write down all, P for product, we write down all products, give us 77. We got 1 times 77, 2, um, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 times 11. I think that's it actually. The S column, S for sum, we add these together. 1 plus 77 is 78, 7 plus 11 is 18. Difference column, D for difference, we subtract them. 77 minus 1 is 76, 11 minus 7 is 4. Number we're looking for is a number in the middle term, which is 18, which is right here, which means I'll use 7 and 11. So we got X7, X11. Now our larger number in the P column we're using, we're using 7 11. Our larger number, which is the 11, will always be the same sign as the middle term, which in this problem is negative. Number our circles in the S column, S for same signs, both positive, both negative. Since the 11 um, negative, then the 7 will be negative. Now zero factor property. It says you get zero on one side, you factor the other side, you're going to set each factor equal to zero. So I'll set X minus 7 equal to zero. And I'll set x minus 11 equal to 0. Now we're going to solve these. So I take the negative 7, move it to the right side. Take negative 11, move it over. Anytime you take anything across your equals, your sign changes. So we get x equals 7, and we get x is equal to 11. And those are our two answers.